same time, dear fellow Toastmasters and guests. Which of you have had your teeth drilled and filled? Great. Which of you have had your teeth pulled? Okay. Which one was more painful and troublesome experience? Second one? Second the second one, right? First. Well, the majority thinks that the second variant is worse. I think, I believe that having problem with your teeth and having problems with other people have similarities. If in, bo in both cases you neglect the situation for some time, long enough, you will probably find yourself in the with a lot of pain, in a lot of pain. But unlike the dental industry, nowadays in a dentist, a dentist, you can almost lay in a comfortable chair and relax, thinking about anything apart from your teeth being drilled. I haven't heard about any kinds of relief you can have when you have problems with a person, when you're dissatisfied and have to talk to a person about the problem. Usually, in my experience, people re react in two ways. They either try not to think about the problem, collecting irritation for some time, and at least occasionally having the emotional outburst. Or, to save everybody time, they explode right away. There is likely a middle way. And today I will give you several steps you can go through to come up all right. <coughs> the word is very good, so I'll write it for you on the blackboard. A stands for Accept ownership. Meaning that you will be better off considering yourself as the one having problems. For example, you like eating cookies and you bought some. And your sibling likes your cookies as well. And he or she usually eats all of them. And when you want to eat some, you don't find any. So, when you want to approach your sibling about the issue, you better think that you have the problem with the cookies absent, and not your sibling who eats them, who eats them usually. L stands for lightning fast. It is better to approach the person about the problem intentionally as soon as possible. So, approach your sibling about your favorite cookies the same day when you find your cookies gone. R stands for reveal the problem. approached the person, tell him or her about the problem. I stands for inside out. <coughs> it's D. It's D. Inside out. Meaning, when you approach the person and tell him or her about the problem, share your feelings about the thing. What do you feel about the thing? G stands for give a solution. C 
say, brother, if you want to eat my cookies, I don't have anything against it. Enjoy it. But I need my cookies as well. Because I don't want to stay hungry from my lunch to dinner. So we can either give you some cookies, but leave at least five or six for, for me as well. Or better yet, both of us can buy them interchangeably. Say, I buy them on odd days and you buy them on even days. A solution. H is harvest, stands for harvest. project I made from the manual, I apologize to the audience for the boredom they have to go through in the first part. I don't do it intentionally, <laughs> it's just the requirements of the manual that I give you the theory. So <laughs> stay with me for two more minutes and I promise that it will likely become more entertaining a bit later on. So talking about the age harvest, meaning that Tell the person about the consequences that will ensue, preferably good consequences, if the person grants your request. Because if you tell about the bad consequences, it may sound like a threat. And T stands for twice or thrice. So the manual actually recommends reminding the person about the problem until the person agrees to grant your request. But in my experience, you, you may find and create some problems for you if you don't stop until the person presumably will help you. So I think, but I think that still approaching and reminding the person about the problem and how important it is for you is worth giving it at least two or three times. With those steps, you still have to keep in mind that even going through all of them doesn't guarantee you success. But, but even if it doesn't, even if it doesn't, and you still have gone through them, in my opinion and experience, you will still succeed in that sense that you will send a message. And when you send such messages, people tend to treat you with more respect after that. And often enough, they do agree to help you with the problem. <coughs> Talking about parts of these projects from the manual, uh, this particular project, as many have already witnessed several of them delivered by me, have three parts. The first part the most difficult, boring, toothache-like part, theoretical, I have just done. The second part is demonstration. Meaning my partner and I today will enact a scenario where my partner will be troubling me in a way, and I will try to be assertive. And this scenario is my colleague and I work close, and uh, the colleague tends to speak loudly over the phone irritating me and disturbing my work. And my partner for today is Anton Kroslov. Please watch. Uh, hey, finally you called me back. Why didn't you answer me yesterday when I was intentionally calling you hundreds of times? Yes, I'm fine too, thank you. <laughs> so, how was your weekend? Did you go there again? Are you sick or what? Did you see her again? Oh, my, my god. So, how did you finally end up? <laughs> yes, I'm sure I won't go there. <laughs> really? Uh, wait a second. Uh, do you mind if I call you back like, in a couple of minutes? Okay, thanks. 
Well, uh, <coughs> my suggestion is quite the same, but a perspective is different. And I suppose you guys are standing in a public space, and it is for Anton to realize the point that you should have asserted very clearly is that public spaces do not entertain absolute freedom, and the freedom is subject to restriction depending on others' good. And you should make that point effectively across. It's not just your problem, it's his problem because he can do it to someone else as well. Well, thank you. I'm just guessing it's a public space. If it were to be. It was, it was yeah. said by Anton that we work in open space. So, as I understand, the general consensus is that I was too nice during <laughs> the session where I was supposed to be assertive and aggressive to some extent, in a healthy way. Uh, but, no but, thank you for your feedback. I still think that uh, being aggressive is the second stage you should employ if the first stage doesn't work. <laughs> and as I told you, after I have written the all right acronym on the blackboard, I think that one of the main goals was to send a message, perhaps even in such a platform. But anyway, anyway, thank you for your feedback. As I understood, perhaps being assertive means being more insistent and more aggressive.